Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make caramel puff corn or homemade bucky nuggets. So first you're going to need two bags of these puff corns. Um, and you're going to need a baking sheet with parchment paper on it. So let's get over to the oven and we'll get going on the puff corn. So I got my skillet warmed up and I got my oven preset on 250. So first you're going to, um, I probably got it on medium, and I'm going to get um, a stick of butter. Okay, let me get this good and melted. So let me get this melted and we'll come back. Okay, now that our butter, butter is pretty much melted, you're going to put a cup of light brown sugar. see and then you're going to put a half a teaspoon of vanilla and I'm just gonna add I'm trying to do this with one hand y'all okay and then just a pinch of salt I don't let me put this salt in here <laughs> pinch of salt back and a fourth cup of light corn syrup and we're going to mix this for four minutes All that out there. Let me get this all up. Let me scrape this out of there. Okay, now that all our ingredients in there, we're just going to get it good and mixed. Focus. Sorry, y'all. I can't get that. I don't know why it's not focusing. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna um, cook this for four minutes, and then I'll we'll get on to the next step. Okay. While our nugget, I mean, while our uh, mixture is cooking on the stove, we're gonna open our have this ready. And go ahead and have your parchment on your pan. So we got two bags of this puff corn. And I'll link the recipe where I got this recipe in the description. Okay. And you know what? We might mix this in two bowls. That way it gets good and coated. Because it's a lot of corn. And I think maybe it'd be easier if we put it in two bowls. So we got two bowls, two bags of puff corn, and a cookie sheet with parchment paper. So I'm going to go back to the oven get this uh, mixture done and we'll come back and finish the rest. Okay, we got, we cooked our mixture for four minutes and I got it off the oven and you're going to put in a fourth teaspoon of baking soda. And it kind of turns it a white, just gives it kind of a di different texture. Okay, here we go. On to the main part. So I got two bowls so I can mix it better. So we're going to put half and half in each one. So I'm just going to eliminate this. Okay,
might take two pans. Let's see. Maybe I'll take one pan. Okay. Let's get this other pour in here. gotta be quick with this recipe this is I've made this one other time but I used a different recipe and it didn't quite go like I wanted it to but this is I can tell this is going a lot better than my first go around going to put this in the oven for 40 minutes at 250 and you're going to stir it every 10 to 15 minutes so let's just get this in the oven and we'll come back at 15 minutes and stir it Start it and we're going to put it back in for another 15 minutes. Okay, so I got it out for my last stir. So we did 15, 15. That's 30. So I'm going to stir it and put it in. I'm going to put it in for um, 10 minutes after this stir and then it should be done. Now this is not heavily coated. because I put a little bit too much corn because I didn't know what the bag size is because the recipe called by the ounces. So, um, now I like mine like, I like, this is really good like this because um, it's kind of not overly sweet, but it's still good fully coated. But this is coated pretty good. There are a few pieces that could be a little bit better coated. But like I said, if you wanted it a little bit more heavily coated, Jace, lay off the, don't put quite so much two full bags of popcorn. Okay, right, so we got this stirred. We're going to put it in for a final 10 minutes, and then we'll take a bite of it. Okay, guys, so we just got them out for the last time, and um, it smells like, I don't know if y'all have ever been to Dollywood and walked in. It smells like like Dollywood. I don't know. Does that make sense? It smells so good. So good. And I like that these aren't completely coated. I'm, I really do. But like if you want them completely coated, like I said, go a little bit less on your um, popcorn. I just put a little bit too much. But can you see it? 
I can hear the, I don't know if you can hear the crunch, but it's like super buttery and super crunchy and it's so good, y'all. And I think I'm going to put these in individual baggies. That way the kids can just grab one and eat it as a snack. But, um, I know this was in a professional video. This is only like my second time trying to make them. But this batch turned out way better than my first batch. And, um, they're, they're really, really delicious. It's probably just going to be a new family favorite. But thanks for coming by and watching. And I'll catch you later.